Hey, what's up guys? I'm Level 1 Online. So we're going to do a quick video about shader parameters. So right now I got loaded up uh, Garu, Mark of the Wolves for the Neo Geo. We're going to hit the select and X button on our controllers. It's going to take us into our RetroArch menu. Now this initial screen right here, this is what we refer to as our quick menu. It says that they are at the top. And the first thing we need to check on uh, we need to just hit our back button. We need to go to our video settings. So we go to settings on the main menu. Go to video. We need to check for something at the bottom called bilinear filtering. We need to turn that off. Make sure that is off. From there, back out. Uh, go to the very top. And by default, it should be off, but some images are pre-made images they are turning that on to smooth out the graphics it's all a matter of preference I prefer uh, raw pixels instead of smoothed out graphics in some instances so back to quick menu now we're in quick menu we're gonna go to the bottom we're gonna hit shaders we're gonna load shader preset we're gonna go down to CRT pi we can apply that so from there, let's back out and I want to show you how it looks. So that's how it looks right there. And in my personal opinion, it is a little too dark uh, for my taste. So let's hit select an X. Let's go right here to shaders. And my personal preferences, right here in filter, I prefer nearest. That's going to give it a more pixelated look. And then in shader parameters, I like to go right here to scanline gap brightness. Um, in previous RetroPie images, what I was doing, I was manipulating these uh, three. For right now, what I prefer the way it looks, just this one right here, scan gap gap brightness. Um, but if you want those older settings that I was using, I had to set to 80, and I believe I had to set to around three. And you just hit the left arrow and then this one I had set to about 60 and I'll show you how that looks so let's uh, back out let's hit apply and I'm going to shave this save the shader preset so you just hit this and you can just by default it's gonna uh, it's set to the number one and you can toggle the letters and the numbers by the left and the right so if I hit that one 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 with the a button and then I just push start and it'll save it as one 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 if you want to hook up a keyboard you can always do that as well to name it something else so let's hit apply again let's back out I'll show you how it looks so now the scan lines are there but they're very faint right so if you want something a little bit more in between you want them to be noticeable but you just don't want them to be as as dark then let's try something that I've been using lately let's go to shaders let's reload the shader preset let's go down here to CRT pi set apply alright let's go right here let's move this this is these are my custom settings I put this to nearest shader parameters all I do now is I just mess with this one and I do it in multiples of point twelve so either point thirty six or point thirty eight I tell you what, let's do point forty-eight. Let's back out. Let's hit apply. This one I'm gonna save as one, two, three. Start. All right. Let's back out. So it's a little hard to see with the capture card, uh, but now the the scan lines are there but they're just not as heavy as they were and it doesn't look as blurry so I recommend trying out this one first if you like it just stick with it and uh, or if you have your personal preferences make sure to just leave a comment and let me know and I'll try them out another thing I want to mention let's hit um, select the next again another preferred shader load shader preset is this one right here 2x scale so let's hit that. So as you see right here, see what says shader passes? So it's using two shader passes. So it's a little bit more 
demanding of your Pi. Just want to give you a heads up. So if you're outputting this at 1080p, you're using something like this, and then on top of that you have a fancy bezel, you could see a slight performance hit on some of your games. Um, and the best way to check and see if you're losing frames is to enable uh, FPS. And once again, to do that, just to remind you guys, uh, go to main menu settings, uh, on screen display, on screen notifications, uh, enable on screen notifications on display frame rate. And where it says display count, you can turn that off, and that'll turn off the count. And there at the bottom left is your frame count. So you see right now it says, okay, now it was at 41, now it's at 56, give it a second, yeah, and now it's evened out to 60. Good. So if it evens out to 60, that's fine. And I mean, these are the same kind of shaders that they use. If you got this on the PS4 or on the Vita, these are the, uh, the same filters that they're using. So let's just start and select. Another last shader I want to recommend, um, Game Boy for Game Boy Advance only, is this one right here, BSNES. So this is, I would describe this as saturation, oversaturation, because Game Boy Advance, the way it looks on the Raspberry Pi, it looks uh, washed out. So what this will do, this will kind of offset that. So let's apply that. And as you can see now, he's extra orangey. You see his outfit, and then you see his meter at the top. It's it's a little bit darker. The reds at the bottom, those meters, you know, they're more red. Um, so if you want like an oversaturation, more colorful, maybe your TV uh, has maybe some washed out settings. Um, I know, for example, on my gaming monitor, when I set it to gaming, uh, it because it removes all those uh, saturation filters to make things vibrant it has a bit of washed out effect so this can can almost help in a situation like that but anyways I'm level one online um, hopefully I've covered everything uh, you guys have a great weekend take care